This is Twit. We've talked about Mirai extensively, of course, because it's the it generated the largest denial of service attacks the internet has ever seen. It brought brought down the the very large Dyne D Y N the Dyne DNS service. Uh, Krebs, uh, Brian Krebs of Krebs on Security was under such a sustained high bandwidth attack that his long-standing uh, service, uh, Akamai, said, we're sorry, Brian, we'd like to help, but these attacks are larger than we're able to afford and absorb, so you're going to have to find somebody else to to host your DDoS protection for you. Um, so, you know, and we've talked about it, it was, um, what, some routers and uh, DV, uh, DVRs and basically internet appliances, internet connected appliances that the, Mo the, the, the Mirai botnet was more effective in corralling and commandeering and finding and spreading to than anything we'd seen before. And we've said on this podcast months ago, why? What is its purpose? What is its application? What is it trying to do? I mean, because it it really frightened the security engineers and 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 folks who track these things, generating multiple terabytes, not giga, not not gigabits, but sorry, terabits. I meant of you know thousands of gigabits thousands of thousands of megabits of of attack traffic essentially something that nobody could withstand well the <laughs> FBI got on the case and tracked down the the origin of this who was it North Korea China those <laughs> Ruskies who was it who did that three college kids <laughs> They were running. <laughs> Not so bright college kids either, by the way. <laughs> they were, yeah. They were running a Minecraft server, and they wanted to attack other Minecraft servers and force them off the net in order to capture some of their their Minecraft users. Apparently, and you know the, about Minecraft more than I do, Leo, but. Apparently, if you run a popular Minecraft server, you can make money hosting yeah, yeah, Minecraft. Sure you can, yeah. And so these guys, so again, the dollar under, uh, underpins the motivation. They wanted more users on their Minecraft server. So they said, okay, let's go blast <laughs> some other Minecraft servers. So they built this botnet, which is ended up being like way more powerful than they needed. So not only could they blast any Minecraft server that they could find, but it turns out that because DDoSing Minecraft servers is a thing, there are Minecraft DDoS hosts that specialize in hosting and providing bandwidth to Minecraft servers to protect them from DDoS attacks. Well, their, the Mirai botnet was so powerful that they were able to bring down the DDoS protectors, the Minecraft DDoS protectors, and essentially take everybody, take all of the Minecraft servers off that were behind the Minecraft DDoS protectors. I mean, it was just this uber powerful, as we've discussed, just crazy powerful system. So... The lead guy just pleaded. He's in. He's a college kid. Rutgers. Just yep. pleaded. Yes, at Rutgers. Very proud. Just of him. Ple he pleaded. <laughs> <laughs> just pleaded guilty in an Alaskan court. He had two guys that he was working with, and will our listeners will remember when we covered the fact that the Mirai source code had appeared online. Senpai. At, Yep, exactly. And we believed that it it was it was presumed that the authors of Mirai had let it go public in order to obscure themselves so that other people would pick it up 
and start using it so that in order to sort of like spread the blame around, essentially. Well, before they did that, the FBI was already zeroing in on this little trio. And so it turns out that they were not the people who blasted the dying DNS and brought all this attention to Mirai. Their, their own use of their own bot, the original Mirai botnet, was more focused on Minecraft. But by releasing it to the public, they turned a lot of other, and here's your favorite word, Leo, miscreants <laughs> loose. <laughs> hey, you miscreants! <laughs> you Get off miscreants. my lawn! <laughs> and it was other people who weren't probably themselves um, sophisticated enough or hadn't done done the 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 work of reverse engineering the various IOT devices. And remember that Mirai was was a was sort of a living organism. Shortly after a new exploit was found, it would get incorporated into this botnet, which so it was constantly increasing its its power and sophistication by going by releasing the source publicly anybody could get on the mirai bandwagon and in fact it was some other people that were involved in blasting dyne dns off the net and causing a big chunk of the eastern portion of the us uh, to go dark uh, as the as the as the caches of existing dns queries drained and people and, and the the resolving DNS servers tried to go back to Dyne in order to get their records refreshed, but found that Dyne was off the net. So, anyway, that's the story behind Mirai. It was three college kids who didn't like competition from other people's Minecraft servers and thought, okay, we're gonna you know blast them off the net, cause their systems to be slow and thus collect other users onto our server. Weren't so, they at some point selling uh, DDoS as a service? Yes, yes. There was also, it, it occurred to them, hey, you know, we could make some money by selling this to other people. Hooligans. Yes. What are you going to do? <laughs> Unfortunately, I guess, I guess they're probably 21 by now. So yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're probably being them. held responsible for, or probably yeah. 18 rather. I'm sure they're 18. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. yikes.